What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and after 30 years, and all of the memes, and all the clips, Paramount has decided it doesn't want to have any possible programming that might depict the police force in a positive light, and they have canceled cops. I don't really know how else to describe this, but it's, 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 brain meltingly stupid the idea that this is virtuous in any way whatsoever is absurd removing any positive coverage of police force in exchange to bend the knee to the outrage mobs is only going to make relations worse but paramount by the way which also copyright struck my sonic video as of today a a year old video thanks paramount cops canceled at paramount network the move follows the viacom cbs cable network's decision to pull the episodes in the wake of everything going on right now paramount network has pulled the plug on cops for good uh the viacom cbs owned cabler had removed the long-running show from its schedule in the wake of nationwide protests following everything going on right now now the network says it's dropping the show all together quote cops is not on the paramount network and we don't have any current or future plans for it to return a network spokesperson said that's right definitely don't want to depict what these law enforcement officers have to go through on an everyday basis you definitely don't want to humanize these people when there is a nationwide mainstream media led smear campaign against the police what that group of officers did in minneapolis was wrong nobody refutes that but when you have nearly 400,000 interactions a year uh you know it, it, it it's tough to to understand just the odds of how often things go wrong now what happened to george should have happened to zero people if they had 10 million interactions entirely preventable but removing this from your network doesn't do anything. It's the same clowns that want to tear down statues. Do it! Just do it! Do it! No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Well, if there's not a statue, then suddenly history didn't exist. Paramount Network's forerunner, Spike TV picked up cops in 2013 after it ended a 25 season run on Fox. The series continued following a 2018 rebranding of the channel's Paramount Network, which had also had syndication rights through the past many seasons. Old episodes currently air on WGN America and the Viacom CBS owned streaming service, Pluto TV. WGN's Americans, WGN America's commitment to the show expires at the end of June, and the cable network owned by Nexstar doesn't plan to renew it, a source told The Hollywood Reporter. The Pluto TV channel remains active, however, I wonder how long that will be. The show's 33 season had, 33rd season had been scheduled to premiere Monday, but no episode had aired on Paramount Network since June 1st as the protests rage on. Annie also pulled last week's episodes of Live PD, which are also follows Officers on Patrol, albeit in real time. A source told THR that new episodes Friday and Saturday are unlikely. Although a &E is still evaluating things, a spokesman for the Discovery ID's channel says its similar show, Body Cam, is also off the schedule for the foreseeable future. Absolutely absurd. When you have the cops has faced scrutiny for the, the ways it depicts suspects and certain tactics, a podcast, podcast called Running for the Cops, you tell how officers would sometime coerce subjects into signing releases to be filmed for the show and that crew members have carried weapons and assisted okay so if i was on the crew i'd carry two i don't even understand that this is one of the most ridiculous virtue signals ever i, I get it that there is a problem um a systemic problem but also understand that hiding that problem tearing down the statue canceling the tv shows does absolutely nothing. What does it do? I mean, you definitely don't want to humanize these officers. Now look at Eyewitness on ABC covering. After 30 years, reality show cops canceled from TV during a national debate over policing. Bad Boys is no more. 
After more than three decades on the air, the reality TV show Cops has been canceled. Now, obviously, Twitter uh, celebrated this. And, and I get, I mean, look, you know, it's not like I watch the show very often anymore. Uh, but you see, you know, Isaac Fitzgerald here. Cops, which has been on television for 33 seasons since 1989, has been canceled. Here, Cops is canceled. Next up, Live PD. Really? I, I mean, is this the world you want to live in? These are the people that are supposed to protect you. And, and yes, there was a bad incident here. But what does this do exactly? It ain't defund the police, but I'll take cops canceled as an appetizer. All these soy-infused individuals have no idea what defunding police really even means. Now, if you had me, you had me at fire bad cops. You had me at dismantle the union. But to defund them, look at the streets. They're run amok. That's supposed to just be okay? They didn't have enough men and women to control everything in Chicago. And you want to defund them. Say what you want about the show, but it made me laugh every time an officer asked if I looked inside the car. I'm not going to find anything, right? Before running and tossing the item away. Do you know how much unseen edited out film these guys have on cops across the United States where they violated thousands of people? They have tons of footage. All to make the show. I mean, okay, you say that like you know that. You don't know that. My favorite show, I don't have cable, but I paid through Amazon to subscribe. Not going to hipster, but it was a great sociological insight into America. I learned a few tips on there, which en enabled me to avoid arrest. I, I mean, I just, I don't get what this does. It it's just mentally weak people who, who don't want to see. I mean, th there are people that generally out there, hey, there's something, there's a crime being committed live on camera. We should blur that that person's face because it's not the right person. Just like three days ago, there was um, an event in Minneapolis that was run as like, white man jumps out of car and does whatever, even though pictures of the suspect were Hispanic. Didn't stop blue check marks from tweeting that out. Even when being called out, they didn't correct it. I mean, I, I don't understand what this does. Now they say out of respect for the families and others that have lost their lives in consultation with the departments we follow and in consideration for safety of all involved, we have made the decision not to broadcast live PD this weekend, Amy said in a statement. Paramount Networks hasn't yet commented on the fate of Monday's Cops episode, but its program is schedule is no longer um, airing as planned. Ghostbusters is now scheduled there instead. Paramount made the shift over a week ago as Cops didn't air the past Monday in its normal spot, and Paramount appears not to have any future plans for cops on the network, although the show is no longer mentioned. Oh, already the show is no longer mentioned anywhere on the channel's website. The show launched back in 1989 and is considered one of the originators of modern reality TV movement. But in recent years, it's also come under fire for how it depicts law enforcement and for questionable behind-the-scenes practices. Reality's Blurred Andy Dennett wrote a recent piece about police-based reality TV on his website, which was first to report Paramount's decision to pull Monday's premiere. Cops was the subject of a recent podcast hosted, hosted by Dan Taber, Ta Taberski, uh, which chronicled hundreds of episodes of the show and his team detailed instances where people were coerced into signing waivers on how to, uh, to allow production uh, to edit and remove anything that might paint them in a negative light. This is bad behavior too. Um, it should be called out. Uh, I didn't see it covered anywhere, but I, you know, I will absolutely check out that coverage. Oh, let's look at the comments. Oh my God. What cowards. The show is great and does not show cops doing anything bad. I'm fed up with all you butt kissers going overboard to protect BLM and their supporters. You might as well say that all cops are bad. All cops are bad cops. I will never watch your channel again. Well, yeah, I mean, that is what they're saying. Now this has gone far enough. The show is educational and good, clean show. Why is the network so afraid? This is absolutely infringing on the rights of many viewers. What is a network afraid of? BLM or just don't have a backbone to show? It's got nothing to do with Floyd. This has gone out of understanding. Stop paying, paying favorites. Now, I would disagree that viewers have any rights. You know, the viewers have an absolute right to just cancel the show. This whole thing is ridiculous. 
And, and everyone right now is out on a witch hunt, streaming through everybody's past tweets, trying to fire me. Your Vanderpump rules fires this person over bad tweets. This person got fired over bad t bad tweets. Con Condi Nast denies allegation. Bon Appetit only play pays only white editors for videos. I mean, what is this? I mean, is this what we want to do right now with our free time? It's ridiculous. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.